Hey, good evening, everyone. This is Lamar Station coming live from Crestwood, Kentucky. And um, you've seen a couple of my videos already. You know that I'm a proud uh, military veteran, served four years in the United States Air Force, and then also served uh, 19 years in the United States Army. Landed here at Fort Knox, Kentucky, uh, retired, and uh, decided to, uh, to stay out here in Northeast Louisville and um, start my appliance business. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, it's been a very fun week in appliances. Uh, there, I would say there's never a dull moment, especially when I'm with my customers. You know, I try to have a good time, provide great service, and also educate at the same time. Um, this week, no, last week, we brought on a new technician. Um, she's doing very well. She's also a military veteran. Her last duty station was actually Fort Bragg. Um, I think before that she was at Fort Leonard Wood. But um, yeah, we're just, we, we have a good time out here. Uh, she's, uh, she's motivated. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, she keeps me on my toes and she, uh, she picks up stuff real quick. So there were three jobs uh, this last week, which uh, really stuck out of my mind. With the first one being a, uh, it was a Whirlpool, yeah, the Whirlpool refrigerator. And this was in Sellersburg, Indiana. So that's, because I'm right by the bridge. So that's like, it took me about 20 minutes to get there. Um, so a customer had called and they had a power surge. And so the surge had uh, like literally just burnt their control board up. You know, they had a lot of clicking, intermittent power, intermittent cooling. And so they called me, you know, and she's like, hey, you know, I, I, I can hear the clicking um, on the back of the uh, refrigerator. I'm like, ma'am. Like, listen, I said, most likely that's your control board. I said, all day long. Um, so I picked up a control board, went out there, and um, took my new tech with me. You know, so I'm like, hey, you know, <clears throat> senior tech here. I uh, got my trainee. You know, she's, she's laced up in the appliance professional gear. You know, we're about to get it in. So get there, pull the tech sheets. Because what I like to do is walk in and put uh, the machine in uh, service mode that allows me to run all the functions independently, you know, just to make sure that everything's working as designed or to understand what's not working as designed. So got there, pull up my tech sheet, have my laptop, boom, 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 boom. And man, I'm trying to put this thing in the, in the service mode and it just wouldn't go. You know, it's like push this button, push this button, hold this five seconds, hold this three seconds. Bam. You know, it just start blinking. Wasn't doing none of that. So, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm here telling tech, like, yeah, you know, sometimes that happens. You know, let's 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 restart the machine. Um, let's uh let's let's try it again. I swear, I mean I tried this thing like four or five times to no avail. It would not go into test mode. So then, you know, I turned around, I, I'm I'm reading my new tech, grabs my laptop, walks over to the machine. You know, she read first, walked over to the machine. Boop, 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 bam. She's like, oh, it's in test mode. I'm just like, come on, man. Come on. I'm supposed to be the master here, you know, a master of my domain. And my new tech just came in and got this thing in test mode. You know, that's natural talent right there. So uh, got past that, um, determined that all the other functions were working properly. You know, the ice maker's kicking in, fans kicking in, all that kind of stuff like that. Compressors, you know. So... Um, I'm like, man, I said, ma'am, I said, I'm going to tell you because it wasn't clicking on us. You know, it had stopped clicking when I got said, ma'am, I'm going to tell you, I'm not sure you need a new control board. Um, we've reset it. It sounds like everything's kicking in. And as soon as I said that, bam, compressor kicks off, then kicks right back on, then kicks off again, then kicks right back on, then it starts clicking again. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? Because there was no signs of burn or anything on the control board, but yeah, I'm glad we stayed there long enough to like search tech through all the functions so that it can do it again. And that's what one thing you see about electrical problems is sometimes they're intermittent and it'll throw you off if you don't stay there long enough until that intermittent behavior starts again. So that was pretty nice. So um, yeah, my, my, my tech was feeling, I'll just say she was, she was feeling pretty good about herself after that. You know, that was like the first week. You know, but hey, it happens. Um, yeah, so then the uh, second thing we worked on together 
was a microwave job. So this was a, uh, a condo in downtown Louisville. And so a property man, no, I'm sorry, a home inspection company had reached out to me um, earlier during the week. And they're part of uh, our networking group. We're in a networking group called BNI, which is Business Networking International. And basically it's just a bunch of professionals around the city that get together and you know we learn about each other's business. So as we're out with customers, so for instance, a customer says, man, you know, I need somebody who work, needs to work on my HVAC. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm in a group with a great guy over at this HVAC company, Prudential, and, um, and he'll do a great job for you. And so, um, you know, they had called me and said, hey, you know, we're in another chapter, but uh, we went in a database and saw that you do appliance repair. And we have a client who is selling a home and uh, their microwave is not working properly. So could you diagnose it? So we went over there, di well, I went over there, diagnosed it, found out it needed a new magnetron. And so my new technician and I uh, went over there. And, uh, and, and with these microwaves, you know, because we had to drop it down. Uh, I put the moving blanket on the table. She had an island right there, dropped it down, you know, opened it up, did the magnetron. And, uh, you know, and it really helps when you have a second person uh, there to do that, you know, because you got to take the screws out the top. One person's holding it. You got to take it off, you know, of the wall. Um, it, it's just a lot easier. But I tell you, uh, for that to be her first microwave, um, she really knocked it out the park. And the customer was very happy. We actually ended up getting a five-star review out of it. And, you know, they were just highlighting the fact that we were respectful of the home. Uh, we communicated effectively with the, uh, with the person there. And, um, you know, we really just did a great job. So um, that was just a great job over the last week. And then the third job was, uh, oh yeah, we did a stove, okay. So we work with property managers, all right? So I'm not gonna say the names, but so there's a, a, a company that's publicly traded that has apartments around the Louisville area. I'll just leave it at that. So we're already doing maintenance for a 630 unit complex. And then so the regional manager reached out to me um, because you need help on another complex. So the regional manager is actually at these complexes doing work because they're so, they're so short staffed. So he had a 430 unit complex out there by the uh, St. Matthews Mall. And um, he's like, hey man, you know, I need some help. Can you help out? I was like, oh, absolutely. I said, you know, I mean, he called on Friday. I was like, well, we're working at one place in the morning, but I can come over this afternoon. So I got over there and, well, Shelby and I, my new tech, uh, got over there and first thing we had was a stove it was a it was, it was an amana stove and the back of the stove had a, a power surge so it, it had burnt through the power block and was headed up to the control board and it kind of just fizzled out right in the middle um, so we ended up uh, fixing that replacing the wiring harness testing everything stuff like that well then he's like man I got a microwave next door. So we went and diagnosed that. Um, when I say next door, the complex over. Diagnosed that, find out what needed to be done. And he's like, hey, I got another uh, stove. So we went over there and diagnosed that stove. He's like, hey, I got another microwave. I was like, I'm sitting here like, man, you are not about to hijack my Friday afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we ended up taking care of all four of them. Um, for him, you know, getting him the numbers he needed, what it would take to repair it, parts, costs like that. So two out of the four, I mean, he just approved to repair on the spot. Um, so the uh, third and fourth one, I had to go back and, and, and give him some quotes on it. But then he emailed me this morning, no, he emailed me the next morning, um, and was asking if we go to Frankfurt and Lexington um, because they have other apartment complexes there. I'm just like, hey, Absolutely, you know, uh, we have that. And then we have another apartment complex up in uh, Florence, Kentucky that we do also. So tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, uh, we're headed up to uh, Florence to work on a couple of jobs there. I think one's a dishwasher, one's a stove we have to replace. And the other is a stove with a heating element out. Um, so yeah, it's just never a dull moment, uh, fun times. Like I said, my new tech is keeping me uh, keep me on my toes. 
make sure I, I come with my A game. 